How's it going, everybody? In tonight's Bible study, and in and all of its randomness, eleven seventeen, or Revelation eleven one through seven. I remember I told you yesterday I um, will go one column. I mean, we'll do one verse over in the fourth column. So that's how it synced up. Is tomorrow the day? Hmm. I don't know. I never know. I just do a lot of speculating, don't I? Yep. So anyway, um, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. I think they're talking about the end times there. These be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the Spirit. Folks, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're going to face judgment. And you don't earn the Holy Spirit with any of your own works. That includes free will, peoples. But ye, beloved, gee, who's that? Now, that would be the sheep putting up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, they've got the Holy Spirit. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The word of God is Jesus, and Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I mean, my goodness, when, they, when, when God was speaking of the coming new covenant in the Old Testament, Jeremiah said, I will put my law in their inward parts and write on their hearts. He didn't say, after they make a free will decision, then I will then react and put their law in their inward parts. Put my law in their inward parts. No. Comma, keeping yourselves in the love of God. What keeps yourself in the love of God? Having the holy faith as you bow to his will, having the Holy Spirit. Folks, the entire word is a parable. It's simple instruction with the illusion that you have a free will decision to carry out the simple instruction. It's basic, simple instruction. But you have no choice in the matter. God's declared the end from the beginning. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference, and others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, having even the garment spotted by the flesh. We'll go to the New Living on all that. I can only speculate what that means. You mean to speculate? Um, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. So some sheep are helping others. Um, and they're not happy with their own flesh. Let's just see what it says. What verse was that? 23. Rescue others. Rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. That was it. <laughs> but you see how difficult that is. Show mercy to still others, but do so with great caution, hating the sins. Uh that contaminate their lives. I thought maybe it was their own lives. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Who, who keeps you from falling? 
since there's no free will. The Holy Spirit does. And to present you from faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Do you see how some verses sound like there's free will, but the next trumpet, they trump those verses every time. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, comma, to only the wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. All right. Very good. Nice job there, Jude. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood. Now, not only is it 1117 tomorrow, but we just finished Jude, which is the book before Revelation. So is tomorrow the big day? Is today the eve at 710, when 710 is actually eve in Jewish gematria? Eve is 710 in Jewish gematria. And when I looked at the clock, wondering if there it is. Eve, 710. The V is 700. That's the number given to V, 700. 5705. Five. Wow. Wow. And this is Revelation, basically, 11.17. For Zechariah, 11.17 is the right eye wound Bible verse. Is tomorrow the day? Goodness gracious. And there was given me a reed, like unto a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city. They shall tread under it underfoot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees. Now I tell people all the time the two witnesses are the church. The church is represent the, the there's five comparisons to the church and the two witnesses both persecuted by the antichrist when that is done they are both co go up to jesus in the clouds when that is done there's also a great earthquake at the end of their suffering and so forth they're both represented by candlesticks they're both represented by olive trees was that all five olive trees candlesticks, cut up the Jesus in the cloud, ends in an earthquake, persecuted by any Christ. There you go. That's the five. Both are persecuted by the So, and and why, why the two? Why the separation? Because we are all kings and priests. And I think kings have a certain significance of their role. More of like those that feed the sheep with truth and the priest simply the saints both in heaven are the exact same they just get eternity with our lord but their role on the earth is different these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the god of the earth and if any man shall hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. And remember, this all takes place for three and a half years before the Antichrist. So that would be taking place in Israel. All these miracles before the Antichrist even comes on. Now, this is just symbolic. It says, if any man hurt them, fire proceedeth out of... So there's a lot of ifs. There's an if there and an if there. And it says they have power to do things. 
They have power to do things. And where does their power come from? It comes from the Lord. All sheep have the Lord's power, but they don't actually carry it out because it's, it would be the, the Holy Spirit in them that would be able to do that. So two olive trees and two candlesticks standing before God of the earth. And if any man hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devour their enemies. If any man hurt them, he must this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven and earth that it rain not. And in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the pit shall make war against them. That's the Antichrist making war on the sheep and shall overcome them and kill them. And that's the great tribulation. We'll get to the rest of that tomorrow. I'm glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. We're going to start Acts, Book of Acts tomorrow. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Okay. I forget how I close. All right, bye.